Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading uh, for Libra. We're going to take a look to see what your blocks and challenges are in finding love. Uh, we can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for July 2022. So Libra, we're going to take a look at what your blocks and challenges are, and then we will see how you could overcome these blocks and challenges. So uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message uh, didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So, um... Libra, let's get started. What are Libra's current blocks and challenges in finding love for July 2022 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra? What are Libra's current blocks and challenges in finding love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for July 2022. All right, we have the Queen of Swords. There you are right there with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. You guys could be working a lot. Could be an indication that this you guys could be distracting yourselves here and not really, um, you know, acknowledging uh, things that you've been through, painful things, painful situations that you've been through here. All right. Let's see what else we have. You got the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. Wow. I'm feeling like more so that you guys have been working on yourself and that the universe might be sending you your soulmate here. I mean, this person could be in your orbit. This person could be coming towards you soon. But uh, we're going to take a look. Uh, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. We have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. And then the King, yeah. So it seems like, you know, whoever the soulmate is, this is going to be a very passionate connection. This is going to be a very adventurous connection. This connection is really going to keep you on your toes here. Okay, so with the Eight of Pentacles, it seems like you guys have done a lot of work on yourself. You know, maybe you guys learned a hard lesson about boundaries here, Libra. Okay, or that you guys are learning about that. Uh, Queen of Swords and the Three of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles here, and the Knight of Cups. There is someone new that's coming towards you. Yeah, it seems like all like the, the hard part, the the the, the deep nitty gritty stuff, the shadow work part. I feel like that that part is the majority of that is done. Yeah. So um, let's see what else we have here: the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the uh, Wheel of Fortune, the Death card, Lovers. Oh, and wow. So Libra, you've gone through a huge change. You're, 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 you've gone through a huge transformation here and the universe is watching and noticing and the universe is about to send you like a big, big, big blessing here, I feel. I mean, the lovers and the ton of pentacles. Maybe you guys are already experiencing this. Um, tell me about the queen of wands, Scorpio energy with a death card. We have the five of cups, the king of wands and the five of wands, interesting. Maybe this is a connection that you've learned, a, a past connection that you learned from here. Yeah, perhaps there was, I mean, moving forward, there could be some sort of conflict here. Oh, interesting. Oh. What's, what's happening here is that you're moving on to someone new. There is someone new coming in for you. This Queen of Wands, this is King of Wands, this just situation is a past situation here. Seems like someone here is trying to sneak back into your life. Could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. It seems like this person walked away from you and now they want to come back. You're dealing with, you, you, so someone is coming in that's new. Uh, could be a water sign. Scorpio, yeah. But someone from your past is trying to sneak back in. This is someone that you've gotten over. But I feel like this person's not done with you. Okay? Um, how can Libra overcome their blocks and challenges for July 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy. 
and the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy, and the Seven of Swords showing up again. Ooh. All right, we have the Seven of Wands. Let's see what else we have here. And the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. You know, I feel like you've gone through a lot of changes here. I feel like the work that you've been doing on yourself here, the change that you've experienced, and you know, I feel like there's been a lot of growth here. Yeah, there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of change. The universe could be supporting you on this. I, I feel like the universe stepped in for a reason here. Because at some point you were this little page here. I do feel like at some point, some of you guys might have been, you know, like very, very, um, very upset. Yeah, very upset about, you know, people letting you down, upset about how your childhood was. Uh, we have the um, Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. So I see all these sevens here. When I see all these sevens here, this is an indication that, you know, a lot of you guys are spending a lot of time on your own. You know, when I see a seven, and it's seven or nine, you know, that's kind of like a loner-like energy, especially the seven. Someone here likes to be by themselves. So um, how is saying that, you know, you guys may have learned a lesson about, you know, having strong, firm boundaries. I feel like you guys are really, really firm with their boundaries. Real, you guys are really um, sort of like in the self-preservation energy and protecting yourself here. Okay. Uh, seven of uh, wands and the seven of pentacles here. There's also an energy of not rushing things here and taking your sweet old time, okay? Uh, there is an energy of definitely overcoming, especially with the chariot here and the seven of wands. Tell me about the page of swords here. Why is this page of swords here? Page of swords. Okay, page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sage. Tell me about this uh, tower. We have the nine of swords. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. We have the Fool here, Aries Energy. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. And then we have the Three of Swords. Tell me about this um, Seven of Pentacles. And the King of Cups. There is a water sign that's new that's come. I feel like this is a new person for some reason. I don't know why. But I feel like you're protecting yourself from this person from getting hurt. To be quite honest, Libra, I feel like you guys, a lot of you guys are doing fine by yourself. Yeah. You know, if you're, if you guys found someone new and that, you know, you guys are definitely not, you know, just like, just pursuing this person. I just feel like you guys are just kind of like, you know, vetting this person, getting to know this person. Make sure they're real, they're, they're legit here. We have the uh, Page of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Seems like you might also be getting a lot of communication from people here too. Thing is, I feel like this is stressing you out. I feel like this is stressing you out. It just could be an indication that some of you guys might not be ready for love. But I feel like you guys, you know, even though you guys are not ready for it, it seems like you guys are because I feel like you guys have done a lot of self-work here. The Three of Swords and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I'm going to, why is this, uh, why is this a uh, Three of Swords here? With the Four of Pentacles, you know, there's someone else that's coming in where this individual's heart space is closed off here, okay? I feel like this person is just as guarded as, as you, but I feel like this person is actually very balanced, emotionally balanced. Yeah. So, yeah, it seems like it seems like the universe is sending you someone here. Yeah, sending you your blessing. You know, see, like I said, I feel like you've gone through a huge transformation, a huge shift here. Your energy 
has completely shifted. Perhaps, you know, at some point you're in this like immature energy or something like that. And now you're in this more mature energy. Uh, you know, it could be a situation that you learned a lot from a prior connection here with the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here, where there was a lot of regret, disappointment, and arguments here, and jealousy. Okay. So, um, Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it was, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.